Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, asking our Father in Heaven, how it be his name, to come by here and impart knowledge on us in the understanding of these number patterns that we're seeing in your son's name we pray, amen, and so be it. Hey y'all, we're looking here at the old Camp Stasia thing, trying to get us the update, yeah, that update costs about five six hundred dollars we won't be doing that right now but while we're talking about numbers we're over here we're looking at a comment it's from prophecy 144 says hi coach anything on numerics breakdown of what they mean and he has 11 11 6 6 9 11 11 is driving and then he and then I guess he says 11 11 is driving me crazy so let's click on this 11 11 let's see what happens all right 11 11 doesn't exist in this particular video so you could break that down into two and two so let's go to two minutes two seconds you could also go to 220 Right, let's go to 220. Okay, that's probably it right there. Um, these numbers, they they are patterns that our Father, the Elohim, I should say, because it's not just Him, it's the Elohim that's doing it. The our Lord, we should just call it our Lord is, um, I should have said Lords with an S. They are sending us messages from the spirit world using these number patterns. And it's not so much that they're changing the patterns or anything. It's just that they are actually bringing our attention to them. Like, for instance, you're driving down the, car, down the street in your car. You know, eventually, the numbers are going to line up to say 666. But the Father, the Elohim, I should say, um, will point your attention to that number straight exactly when it hits. See, you're seeing numbers all day. The question is, are you recognizing them? Now, I think most people know that and they're starting to um, recognize these patterns that we're seeing. And we all see them, you know, from time to time. I think it's an early sign that we're being called is what I've narrowed it down to. One of the first things that happens to you when you realize that you've been called is you see these number patterns everywhere. And it's like I said, they are, they're everywhere anyway. But the Elohim, these angels that are controlling man right now are drawing your attention to them. No different than if they was to grab your head and turn it and face it towards that number pattern. And all you see is that number and you're like, wow, you know, 444 right there or something. And so let's read it one more time. He says, anything on numerics. Now, my wife sent me a book back when I was in prison um, on numerics. I read that book. It was a short book. It explained every number. But by then, I had already studied Revelations and um, the book of Revelation and uh, chapters 2 and 3. If you really want to understand number number patterns and sequences, that those two chapters... I, I, they're all about numbers. Let's go over there. And let me show you what I mean. This is actually how I not learned to to recognize numbers. The early numbers that you see are like the four four four, the one one one, or the six six six, or whatever that is. Is but every number has a meaning. Like you look at this this uh, Psalms number one hundred three one seven one eight. Now to you that might not look like a significant number, and it may or may not be. You know, it has some prime numbers in there, but. Y each one of these numbers in here represents something. But let's go over to Revelation 8. I, I said all of that to say that just because they're not in a pattern don't mean that the numbers don't mean something. Once you realize that the numbers mean something, then the patterns will go, will go away and you'll start seeing numbers like 181 or 175, you know, and you... You start understanding what those mean. Um, first glance, a 175, that's something new. It's going to come to completion, but you're going to wait on it for a little while, something like that. So let's let's go down through here. Now, we've already done a class on Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, so we're definitely not going to hit this verse by verse. Um, let's just see if I can jump right to it. Right, now here we are in Revelation chapter 6 and we're looking at verse 2 when he saw and beheld a white horse so this first creature is white 
this re is one this always goes with one okay so when you're trying to understand these number patterns you need to connect white and one together in your mind those two go together okay um, you're going to understand the colors before you understand the numbers you'll get the colors first and then you'll come back in your rec you'll, when you put the numbers with them then you'll start to understand numbers too it says a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer so that's white put those three together white one conquering and to conquer see how this page on this screen right here is white this is a one type page right here where most of it's white you see some black in there we're gonna get in there. we're gonna talk about black here in a second and pale yeah in, the, in there too but white is see that what we're getting right conquer now praise the Lord willing Lord willing we're going to conquer this class right here and so that's why we're talking white first is as we're getting ready to you know do this class so the idea of completing this class is white now he's about to open the second seal number two okay now you got this other beast you got these four beasts you have to remember that the smaller the number the closer they are to the throne so you got the second of these four beasts saying come and see and there went out another horse that was red okay so put these two together two and red two and red two and red if somebody knock on your door you know what I mean get ready to fight you know what I mean don't don't go to the door unprepared for what's about to happen next cause you know they might bust a firecracker off at you they may a gunshot may go off you know what I mean you know, somebody might get ready to be punched in the face you never know what's about to happen that's two all right so when you see these numbers together you, you know one and a two you know if somebody on the football team they always got to have one and two put those two numbers together white and red and power was given him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth see now we did a whole nother class on this you know dealing with these the seals and when these seals were actually broken um you can check out that we want to, don't want to get into you know that level of detail in this class but let me at least put you up a card so you can check out that class you know after you watch this video go back in and and um look read some of these verses that's coming up and then also um click on these videos like this one because when you think about taking peace you're thinking about in the days of noah like when the whole earth was about to get destroyed oh uh, you imagine you kill everybody on the planet except except uh four people you think you think what well, that could be classified as uh disturbing the peace and you disturb the peace yeah that or created peace after all the people was gone it was a very peaceful place afterwards and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword. So that's two. Two is firecrackers. Two is gunshots. Two is blood. Two is red. Two is fighting. Two is a barking dog. Right, verse 5 says, And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And beheld, and lo, a black horse. So here's the black one. Now, like I said, these colors go together. Black and three. Three and black 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 is like you see black you know what i mean you see somebody in a black suit you know they about their business think of the difference between you know suvs pulling to your house um uh, all of them white or all of them black which one would you prefer all white or all black you know what i mean that's black black is three and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hands now see this go all back to the days of noah like we talk about in that class we gave de great detail you know how we do classes we got scripture we ain't just you know bumping our gums over here we ain't moosing making stuff up now you know so when we gave that class we showed that this period in time that's been talking about is the days back there when they were in egypt which was the first time that humans had to pay to eat and we still pay to eat today that's why they still use Egyptian symbols and all of that you know kind of stuff I don't want to say magic but you know there's some stuff there's some reason behind all of them thing them symbols that they use 
my point is is that that's when the balances came like i said that was the first time humans had to pay to eat had to pay to uh be buried and we've been doing that ever since even pay to be in prison but anyway it says and i heard a voice in the midst of the four horses say a measure of wheat for a penny see now this is what we're talking about people like to confuse this thinking that all of a sudden bread is going to be so much money no we're never really going to run out of food the planet is going to disrupt and do some stuff first before we actually run out of food i mean you'll be able to find these big storehouses and, and um, places where all of this food was stored up to feed you know millions of people but there just ain't going to be no people around to eat it that's what's about to happen and ain't that it's you know price of food going to skyrocket they they plan with us on TV they control them prices anytime they want you know they can make it go up just like they can make it go down and the you know the farmers are throwing food away pretty much um, but anyway this was actually talking about in Egypt when they actually had to sell barley the thing about Egypt was it was the first time before that you never nobody ever in the whole Bible ever bought food until Jacob sent his sons in to buy that corn. That was the first time humans had ever had to buy food on the planet was after that worldwide famine that Joseph had stored up all that corn. He stored it up for seven years. And then after the seven years, the whole world died except Egypt. It was, was the only place to still a living because it was the only place to had corn. The other people had to buy corn. They sold them their land. That's why Egypt got so rich. They sold them their land, sold them their animals, and then they sold them themselves. Not in that quite order, but... Okay, so we got... Um, White, red, and black. One, two, and three. We're learning numbers now. But the colors are what's going to help. You know, when we put when you when you see these numbers, put these colors together. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked and beheld a pale horse. Now a lot of people say this was green or pale green, but I think it's associated with any color. I think the color itself is pale. It could be green, um, but it could be pink, and it could be gray, and it could be sky blue, you know, any kind of pale number or a pale color. The thing is that it's, it's, um, it was a thing, and now it's, it's softening up, whereas instead of him showing up in all red, you know what I mean? He he got on, and which what a red would have mean something like you know, you know we we're about to get it on in here. It's about to get exciting up in here. Instead of coming full blast red, he's coming pink, which mean I mean he might just go and talk about the thing. You know, it ain't he, he might not necessarily pop off with. He might not necessarily light that fuse, but you know what I'm saying. We're gonna know that that fuse in the room. That's why he pink. But I think that's pale. It go for gray. It go for every color. And his name that sat on him was death. Okay, now this is four. Four is, you notice how the first three were all about stuff you could physically see. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you know, it's stuff going on. You know, I always get a, the analogy of we buying a car. White is, hey, I just saw a commercial of a car that I want. Let's go buy this car. Uh, red, that's. Okay, well, where are the keys to our car so we can go down here? Let's put the shoes on. Let's put the hat on. Let's go down here. Let's let's go see about this car. Uh, black or three, that's uh, when you're down there and you're like, how much does the car cost? You know, can we afford this car? Where are we going to get the money for this car? That's black. And then pale is, I usually associate that with after you've actually purchased the car. But it, but it can be before you purchase it, you're sitting there deciding, you know, okay, we got the money. Should we actually do this kind of conversation? But a lot of times it comes afterwards as far as buyer's remorse. You're like, I shouldn't have all the had to did this. But it don't last long. And notice I said last long because that's number five. But we got to finish four first. We said that the name is death. The fourth name is death. Now, the person in history that this is associated with is Moses. And the reason why is because of the law. Moses brought in the law and what we were supposed to do. And not following the law results in death. So, a lot of, that's why a lot of people try to say that, you know, the law brought death and all of this. Well, you was dying anyway. It's just that the law helped you understood why you were dying. You didn't know that, you know, the reason why you was having a, such a bad life was because you kept hitting these women in the head and dragging them home and calling them your wife you know what i'm saying you couldn't been doing that you know and you didn't know that you wasn't supposed to do that until moses started writing this stuff down for you so that's death that's four 
and that's why it says and hell followed with him because now you got to worry about hell because you know before then you didn't know that that was wrong you didn't know that was wrong it wasn't written down nobody ever told you did nobody ever know it until no until moses enoch knew it but he he left it early and then moses you know he was the next one to know about it talking about the law this death and hell that is talking about social so pale is like church pale is like um the police gonna take you to jail they black that's why they show up in black because they taking you to jail that's three but you're gonna get down there you're gonna talk to the judge that's four the judge is pale because you know what i'm saying he gonna he gonna look like a good guy but you know you still got the ability to take you either way he can he can take you down through there if he want to you know even worse than the police officers can you know it's just that the three gonna get it right now three usually don't play three is about that money 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 you know what i'm saying they they move quick and they don't they don't linger hope i'm not confusing you more than this making sense but it says so that's all in four four is a ugly i ain't gonna say or oh, i ain't gonna say ugly that's a bad that's a bad way to say four is a little bit different you know it's four, like, i see four 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 at all in all the time well the it, it, and the reason why I, I wanted to say bad i'm not gonna say bad is because of this whole death and hell thing that comes along with it you know what i mean so that kind of you know but but anyway let's go on taking up too much time before we get to the fifth seal fifth seal is all about time as far as we're concerned now let's go back and see what it means in history fifth and i saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of god now notice here you don't have a color now the colors are brand they 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 really to help you through the first four these next ones are not going to have a color associated with them five doesn't have a color six doesn't have a color seven doesn't have a color and you know i know all the way up to about 12 but none of them have colors anymore i say i know that i should have said i knew that i used to study this stuff a long time ago a little bit rusty and i saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of god so this started with the messiah's time right here this is the fifth seal and it's talking about all those people that were killed around and after the messiah but that's five so five is about waiting so if you're seeing a bunch of fives it's, you you got a lot of waiting and stuff going on um like a like we was talking about the car that's the period from the time that you've actually bought the car the car is yours but you're waiting for them to drive the car around to you you know if you ever bought a car you know they they actually like to clean it up a little bit before they actually give it to you and that kind of thing um that's five waiting and they cried with a loud voice saying how long O lord holy and true dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth and of course they're still there 2000 years is about how long my friend about 2000 years and it says and when i beheld and when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon as uh blood so now of course just getting ready to get into the sixth seal doesn't give a lot of information on the number six from here but you can kind of see where it's headed to where there's change and um that's the main thing about number six is that it 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 um in the car scenario that's the time when they actually hand you the keys you know what i'm saying so you've been talking about this car all this time for a day a month a week a year you know what i mean you've been talking about this car and now all of a sudden you got it that's the earthquake moment when they actually put the key when they drop the keys in your hand and keys hit your hand that's when the earth goes to shake the lightning strike and you know everything just go off you know at that precise moment because that's six right and that's the way sixes are in your life that's usually it's, 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 it's the number of man too and so you have to mix that in there too when you're getting into numerology it's the number of man too so you know you always think that there's something to do with change but there's something to do with man too man is actually you know in involved in this change then seven is the number of completion um 
any anytime you're seeing a bunch of sevens, it's all over. If something ends in seven, it means it's going to come to an, an abrupt end. Not necessarily win. Got to depend on how many fives you got in there. But you know, it's going to end with seven. Eight is something new. That's a brand new thing. Um, if you know, eight is okay. We've been doing this thing. We done made it through seven. We didn't got. We didn't completed that task. Eight is the new thing. Eight is like a promotion. Like you go into a to a new. You still at the same company, but now you about to do this brand new thing. That's eight. Um, um, nine. That's the that's the go time. That's when it's time to actually you know do the thing like for instance if you didn't eight was making the olympics now nine is actually a time to put in the work that's required for you to be in the olympics you know what i mean nine is go time now is get ready you know what i'm saying you thought you thought uh three was black nine is three times three so we got black black on black nine is go time you know what i mean ain't no plan ain't no plan around time the the number 10 was what did, I can't remember which one of those mathematicians was in love with the number 10. It, it would be a good idea to study why he was in love with the number 10 to understand what n number 10 is. Number 11, I, I, I didn't used to know them. But anyway, I'll save it for another class. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm starting to ramble now. Shalom.